Oh, a nice pet. Yeah. Welcome to the video, my friends. Today, I want to talk about the test build 1.10 for Hunt Showdown, primarily the addition of the Stalker Beetle, which is kind of a way of countering campers. But yeah, I see some major issues with it. So I really want to cover those. But uh, we'll go over the basics with the Stalker Beetle, the controls and things like that. So it flies like you would expect. You throw it out as a consumable, uh, just like a dynamite stick or a Molotov. And then you can control it with WASD and then space to go up and control to go down. They have about 150 meter range from the player using them. The player is completely vulnerable while using the beetle. And you can also ping enemy locations while in the beetle view, which uses dark sight. And the view distance is pretty reduced as well with a kind of dark shadowy effect. So you can't see too far from the beetle's eyes. So with that said, I want to go on to my first criticism. The audio for the enemy beetle is kind of quiet. If you're in a gunfight, you really struggle to hear them but your own beetle seems to be louder. I'm not sure if that's just because we were just in a quieter area with less gunfire going on, so we could hear our own beetle a lot louder and clearer. But during action, it's really hard to hear a beetle and notice it, because it, in my opinion, it needs to be a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit easier to notice, and uh, it's pretty hard to shoot in a lot of cases. Uh, there's some footage here, though, on the main issue that we had, uh, this being... Uh, Thing to fight campers but we were actually having it used like if you're familiar with warzone and the gulag when you're in a duo three or a squad you'll have your teammates in the gulag with you giving you call outs on where the other player is in the gulag he's coming up on your left your right and this kind of like gives you an advantage over that player that might not have a teammate in the gulag with them and this is similar to how the stalker beetle is being used in trios or duos you're getting that one extra player hiding out in a bush somewhere with the beetle and giving call outs to their two other teammates that are pushing you and give you that advantage over that team that maybe not using the beetle didn't have it equipped and yeah it's um it's very interesting i've got this clip here where we are fighting around some trees in the swamps and the beetle was in the trees so we couldn't actually see it we could just about hear it but we couldn't see it because it was flying in and out of the trees but it was given call outs to the two players and knew exactly where we were from his teammate so of course we could have obviously returned the favor and used the beetle ourselves in the similar manner but we shouldn't have to. This is kind of giving people a massive skill gap advantage. And in my opinion, changing the flow of the gameplay for Hunt Showdown in a big way. It's bugs just sat up in the f***ing trees here. Yeah, I'm beginning to not like the bugs. Just that it's sat up in the trees and you can't see it. It's coming. Behind you. Oh. Uh, he was behind as well. Yeah. So I definitely one. think there are one. We possibly should make the beetle a rare world loot spawn item from the cocoons, because you can find these from cocoons stuck to big trees or in watchtowers, I believe. We didn't get to find a cocoon ourselves, but I think finding them in the world in a cocoon might be the best place. Uh, and that's the only way you could get them, possibly, as a as a bit of advice to make them a lot rarer. Because we had continuous beetles flying at us, and it seemed like the same players throwing continuous beetles over and over again. They just had like an inventory full and was refilling it with toolboxes or ammo boxes or whatever they were doing. It was just a never-ending supply of stalker beetles flying at us. I'll be honest. I started off thinking, "Ah, this is pretty cool." Where the first time I used the beetle, we flew it into a building where the bounty players were, and I pressed left click to blow up the beetle and it can cause bleed and poison damage which i think is a really good addition i think it really can create panic from a distance and then you push in with the beetle doing that first kind of attack to set in the panic and the first bit of damage on those players hiding inside a building so i don't know if anybody else has felt the same way if they've had that same experience as you're going to see in this video but definitely i think it should be a rare world spawn from a cocoon and it can't be replenished it's like a one-off use in the world if you find it and then you've got to use it really well, otherwise it's kind of lost. And definitely not purchasable and reusable over and over and over again. I think it's just going to become an OP tool for people that are aggressive, as well as uh, those that are just camping, maybe. And you're just going to know where people are approaching. I think it's just going to change the game loop and the skill gap massively in Hunt. Of course, we love the game as it is. We don't want to see this happen. So just a bit of advice, really, and my feedback on the Stalker Beetle. Everything else in the update... Um, I can't really find any other faults. It's just this stalker beetle I really wanted to focus on. 
So I'll give you some gameplay anyway in the background, of course, and then I'll leave you with the uh, bit of an ambush we had with the Stalker Beatles and how overwhelmed we kind of felt, and we all seem to have the same opinion on it. Uh, worked out quite well at first while we were dealing with the camp with it, but then it's been used kind of probably not how it's mainly intended to be used, which could really, really damage the game. With all that said, I think Crytek are pretty good on taking feedback from the community and tweaking and fixing things, so maybe we'll see some tweak downs with the Stalker Beetle so it's uh, a lot less likely to be used in most situations and just those clever people that want to get into a building where the bounties are camping. Uh, that's probably the, the best best situation that that wants to be used, but not to be kind of a, an advantage in the actual main aspect of the game, as much as it has been in the test servers at least. So yeah, let me know in the comments section below your thoughts on the Stalker Beetle in update 1.10 for Hunt Showdown. Are you in agreement with us or are you kind of just happy the way it is and it don't need improvement? And you're going to use it with your mates to just crumble everybody in the game. Either way, don't forget to hit that like button or dislike button on the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of the content I create. Most of all, thank you for watching. And I'll see you peeps next time. He's on that level. He's there, he's there. Nice. I think the other one is underneath. Another bug. Thank you. Crows underneath. Over there. Third on my right as well. Throw smoke down here. If you hear them coughing, they're either coming up the ladder or on the other tower. I'll smoke that other tower. Ah, oh, man, I missed him. I hit him once. Ah. It was like a northeast shot far. Tower. That guy moved. Oh god, I got shot from Oh my god. From the tower? Yeah, I think so. Another bug. Underneath there. Yep. Woo! I got one. Where I killed the other one? Oh my god, I did not know this guy was here. He's coming in my building. Poisoned. There's one more guy from this team. Careful. I'm low, low, low. There's one pushing us. I hit him once. Oh, 
Oh fuck! I tried. Uh, I, I I got killed by the guy below. Uh, oh my god! So many. Gunshots ring. Father. 